Um, imported structural st or fabricated structural steel has become a major problem uh, for South Africa. Um, one of the issues that we have is we can't get uh, correct statistics because uh, they are not being coded correctly. So what you find is, is a huge amount of structural steel is being imported to, into South Africa under the wrong code, um, which of course distorts the statistics and makes it more difficult to get a real feeling of just how much structural steel is coming into South Africa. So that's the first thing. I think the second thing is by, circ or by incorrectly uh, coding that fabricated structural steel, importers are circumventing an import duty of 15%, um, which essentially makes it uh, uh, competitive to bring into the country. Um, and then, of course, the playing fields are not level uh, from the point of view that steel is being subsidized by other countries and brought into South Africa. And South African structural steel fabricators don't have the same advantage when they wish to export uh, material outside of South Africa. Uh, particularly in the BRICS countries, you find import duties are substantially higher than those uh, in South Africa. From our side, significant tonnages are being imported for both power stations. Um, and we do uh, go with a view that for every thousand tons of structural steel that are imported into South Africa, we lose a hundred jobs. Um, the structural steel that's being fabricated by local fabricators is of a very high quality and it's certainly a world-class project. Um, ESCOM did receive exemption on both projects um, in terms of uh, import duties, but by using the incorrect coding, we don't have an idea of just how much structural steel is coming in. And in the current South African environment, it would be fantastic if our fabricators could have participated in the last uh, three boilers on, on the uh, two power stations.